mystery deepens in Argentine prosecutor's death. The furor in Argentina over the puzzling death of a prosecutor investigating a high-profile terror attack looked unlikely to recede as the first forensic results in the case were released Tuesday. Prosecutor Alberto Nixman was found dead in his apartment just one day before he was supposed to testify before lawmakers about allegations that the country's most powerful officials conspired to cover up Iran's involvement in the 1994 bombing. Government officials called it a suicide, but theories of something more sinister arose immediately. Protesters took to the streets Monday night near the presidential palace, the Casa Rosada waving Argentine flags and holding signs proclaiming, Yo soy Nesman, or I am Nesman. In a report Nesman filed last week, he alleged that Argentine President Cristina Fernandez de Kircher and Foreign Minister Hector Timerman, among others, covered up Iran's involvement in the bombing of a Jewish community center more than 20 years ago that left 85 people dead. The Fernandez government pushed the suicide theory, pointing to the evidence Nixman was found dead from a gunshot wound to his temple in his apartment bathroom, a point to two caliber gun and a shell casing near his body. But a test for gunpowder residue on Nixman's hands came back negative, said Vidiana Fien, the federal prosecutor leading the investigation into his death. Fien said the result does not rule out the possibility that Nixman shot himself. It only shows that no gunpowder residue was found as would be expected if he pulled the trigger and had said earlier that the medical examiner concluded that there was no third party involved in Nisman's death. An investigation into the suicide claim has to include a look at whether such an act was provoked or induced by some other person, she said. For protesters in Buenos Aires Plaza de Mayo, the prosecutor's death struck a deeper chord. The killing of Nixman will mobilize the Argentine people to put an end to the corruption, to end this state of disaster that we live in here in Argentina, one protester said. One woman compared the country's politicians to the mafia, and another said that Argentine democracy was not a democracy anymore. Prescient words the investigation into the deadliest bombing in Argentina's history led Nixman down a trail that he seemingly understood to be dangerous. After filing the complaint last week against the president, foreign minister and other officials, he made a prescient comment about the investigation. I could end up dead from this, Nixman told the reporter. Twice. His premonition came true the next day. Diego Gueller, the former Argentine ambassador to the United States, told CNN and Espanol that the suicide explanation is ridiculous. Nixman was committed to his investigation, which he had been overseeing since 2004, Gueller said. The prosecutor voluntarily wanted to testify before Congress about what he considered irrefutable evidence of a governmental cover-up regarding the 1994 bombing, Gueller said. Without a doubt, this is an incident that has shocked all Argentines very strongly, he said.